Disclaimer. The information in this video is for educational purposes only and not financial advice. Trading in financial markets involves substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Always do your own research and consult a licensed financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Hi, my name is Bill Wynn. I am the co-founder of Avoria Prime, and also I serve as the COO for the company right now. And I have a great privilege today in sharing this video with you to paint a picture of some of the things that are possible for you with Avoria Prime software. Now, I must say that uh, trading is risky. Uh, and so there's never a guarantee that uh, you're going to get exactly uh, what you hope for or what you plan for. But I think that if you um, avoid greed uh, and you don't take unnecessary risks and you maintain a conservative approach towards a goal, I really don't see why you wouldn't be able to get there unless there's something really unique in the market the proverbial black swan event, which typically happens around wars, elections, uh, and really significant geopolitical situations throughout the world. Which, if you're using Avora Prime software and you're plugged into our support groups, uh, we definitely uh, let people know what's happening and what they might want to be cautious of. So with that, let's go into, I'm going to share my screen with you. And uh, we're going to use this daily compound interest calculator. Okay. I, I'm going to use the daily compound calculator because it seems to do the best job, um, even more than this Forex uh, compounding calculator. Now, we're going to go through this uh, step by step. So, number one, choose your currency. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to choose the dollar. And uh, first, let's go ahead and give the Let's let's give a um, the concept of having a child. We have I have two daughters, and uh, let's say that when my daughter was born, I had one thousand dollars to put into a trading account for her, and uh, so that when she turned eighteen, I'd be able to uh, present her with some money and tell her that this is for her college and if there's extra money, whatever else she would be able to use that for. So I'm putting $1,000 into an account. I'm gonna take 4% a month. Now, some people will say, oh, that's so small. Yeah, it's actually a fantastic number. If you know, like if you were to look at a money market account, you're doing about 4.5% a year, not a month, a year. Uh, even a good Vanguard product, you could be making six, seven percent a year, not a month. So I feel comfortable saying four percent. And we do have, of course, um, accounts with uh, even three year history of doing at least four percent, even up to six. But I'm going to take this because, again, I'm not trying to hype or mislead. This is something I feel comfortable with. Okay, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to put it in the account for 18 years. Now, Forex does not trade over the weekend, so we, we're not going to include Saturday and Sunday. I guess Sunday, technically, Forex does trade after 5 o'clock when the market opens, but uh, let's just take that off. I don't want to try to uh, make anything appear better than it would be. Okay, so now we have our setup. Now let's take a look and see how much profit we would have or what would our account be worth after 18 years. Okay, here we go. So what we have here is the investment value, $478,000, but our actual earnings is 477. You remember we started with 1,000, so we just deduct 1,000 from this and that's what we have here. So in 18 years, I'd be able to present my daughter with uh, $477,000. Now, to be completely fair, let's say that I do want to deduct my monthly subscription from that. Uh, so let's work out a formula. And what we would say is we want to take 147 
times 12, right? 147 times 12, that gives us the annual times 18. That's gonna be 18 years of cost, which is $31,752. Okay, so now if we were to take our 477 and just say take 32,000, we'd have, we'd end up profiting 44, uh, was it two forty four five? Okay, so four hundred fifty thousand dollars essentially to present to my daughter for her college tuition. Now that would be uh, pretty fantastic. She'd get a car, even be able to put down money on a house and go to school. So I just wanted to show you uh, that. Now, what if you could afford to put down five thousand dollars at that point? $5,000 at 4% over 18 years. And let's calculate that. And look at that. $2.389 million. Now, the subscription price is the same. So we would take $32,000 off of here and it'd be 2.357, okay? So the, the only reason I did that, not to wow you with these big numbers, but just to show the more that you can put as your principal amount, this is like paying off your house, right? When you pay down your mortgage, you cut your mortgage uh, the, the length of time or your mortgage payments by a significant amount of money. So that just gives you kind of a picture of what could happen here. So let's take another perspective. Let's say that you wanna buy a nice new car and you have $10,000 that you could put down on a car now, but you're not gonna get a, a lot. I mean, of course you could take out payments, but let's say that you're gonna put down 10,000 and you wanna have a new car in five years. Say you're driving a 2020 uh, and by 2030, it's 2024 at the time of this video, you wanna have a new car for 2030. So you're gonna put $10,000 in an account. You're gonna get about 4% a month over the course of five years. You're not gonna deposit more. You're not gonna withdraw. Let's see what that gives us. So over five years, you're gonna end up with profit $45,000. Now, if we took our calculator here, here we would reduce this by five, so you would be you would have about eighty eight hundred dollars in subscription fees over the course of that five years. So take out nine thousand dollars. So you're really going to have about thirty six thousand dollars profit. Plus you have your ten thousand. So now you're going to have forty six thousand uh, dollars free and clear to go ahead and put towards a car. So. You can take this calculator and you can play with it and do all kinds of different things. You know, there are people that average more than 4%, so you might want to bump that up to 5 or 6 or you might decide you're the kind of person that has a bigger account and you're happy with 2%. You know, we do have people that will have $100,000 in an account and uh, let's say they're happy with 2% over 5 years. Well, let's take a look. $135,000 profit, which is pretty good. That's over $20,000 a year in extra income, simply using uh, the software to trade your account for you. I'll leave the link to this calculator in the description. I'll make sure that it gets put there for you and you can play with this and come up with some ideas and goals uh, that you would have in your life uh, where you could use the Avora Prime software to go towards these goals. Now, again, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close this and reiterate. I see people start with a plan like this and they're happy with a rate of 4% a month, but then they decide, well, if I increase my risk by 100% with the software, I'll make even double. Yes, that is true you could actually increase your risk and increase your monthly profit. We have people that make seven, 10% a month, but there's a, there's a, there's a other side to that. 
it's not that you lose money, but that you your account will go into more drawdown. And what that means is, it would be like if you were buying stock, and, and after you buy the stock, the value of the stock goes down. You didn't lose money until you sell the stock for a loss, and then you assume the loss. But if the stock goes down, and you hold it, and then it goes up, and then you sell when it's worth more than you paid for it, you make money. The only thing I'm saying is that if you take more risks, you're going to see more of that drawdown. And not everybody can handle that. Some people can see half of their account in drawdown and be fine. Some people get very nervous at 10% drawdown, 20%. So you need to decide what is right for you. What are you able to manage psychologically uh, when you see that number as a negative? Anyways, have fun. I wish you all the best. Please trade responsibly. Be safe. Um, remember to protect your initial capital and just make it work for you and grow. And rejoice in every dollar that you make. Don't, um, don't hope for more in the sense that you lead to unnecessary risks where you over leverage and take a loss. I wish you all the best. Thank you.